Yeah, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and we are closing on patch 26.2. Soon we will be getting patch 27.0. Uh, but honestly, I don't think anything will change in terms of DPS units and what hero you play with them. So I thought that I will make a clear for everyone uh, what hero you should play to what legendary DPS unit. Uh, of course, uh, someone... Some of you might disagree with my opinion, but I try to be as objective as possible and try to be as creative as I only can and it, it is only available. And also um, I created this uh, tier list or maybe just a quick info uh, what hero you should play with each legendary uh, unit based on my experience knowledge uh and some expertise if you say so because yeah i do play this game quite a lot and for some time already uh so yeah here we go let's jump into it hey you yes you do you still buy things directly in the game client come on you know it's much better to purchase on the market it's so simple you just go into the russia official market or you can just click in the link in the description Choose any item you want, and after that, if you want to support me, you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys, and stay awesome. Alright, so here we are. Uh, as you can see, I divided uh, legendary units basically to all of the heroes that you can play in PvP in my opinion. Uh, of course, I excluded uh, Elementalist that is not played at all. Uh, I didn't see it, I didn't uh, battle against it, I didn't play it, so I will not be including um, Elementalist. Jake Paul, as it is exclusive hero, you cannot obtain it anymore. And uh, Bestie as well, and Flicker. So those four hero will not have a place in my list. Uh, for known reasons, uh, I hope you understand it, uh, it's just much simpler for me to, to make this hero list. So let's begin with Fortuna. Fortuna is the newest hero, newest legendary hero. It is, in my opinion, top legendary uh, hero, top hero uh, in the entire game. Uh, you can, if you are really like a stubborn person, you can play Fortuna with basically any unit and it will work. Um, so that's quite funny. That's just my opinion. Uh, hopefully you understand it. But yeah, that's my opinion. Uh, Fortuna with Genie right now is basically the best deck. Uh, you can play it with Ifrit, you can play it with Sultan. Both decks are incredible, uh, incredibly OP. Um, so that's that. You can also play it with Trent. It's quite obvious. Um, don't really uh, have to explain it. Uh, it is played uh, worldwide, basically with top uh, by top players and leaderboard. Recently, Monk has been uh, like people started playing Monk with Fortuna, and it is really good. I think it's the best version of Monk you can play. Uh, if you don't believe me, just watch some games. Uh, I think there are some games on YouTube, some streamers play it as well. Uh, if not, you can also find those games on the RRTV, uh, like League 16 games. Uh, it's really good, it's reaching 6, even 7 minutes. I saw 7 minutes games of Monk Fortuna, uh, so yeah. Bruiser, Bruiser has... Uh, it's quite good with Fortuna, it's not the best. With recent uh, buffs to Bruiser, uh, his slip time reduced from 5 seconds to 3 seconds. Uh, I think with Fortuna, it's not like definitely best hero for, for Bruiser in my opinion. But I would say it's one of the best options that you can have for Bruiser. You just play 7 Bruisers because you need 7 chosen units. Uh, you play it with Knight Statue of course, with Scrapper. Um, maybe with which, if you can maintain them tier 7, tier 6, tier 7. Uh, it's basically the same formation as Inquisitor, uh, Bard, uh, Blade Dancer, Tesla, um, and Demon Hunter as well. Uh, so it, it is quite the same formation, really. Uh, you just play 7 of those uh, main units, chosen units, 
uh, you, you play it with sword or knight statue, both are fine, both are viable. Uh, of course there is a scrapper if you play knight statue, but if you uh, play Fortuna you don't have those free upgrades just like in Zeus, so you basically are, is, are forced to play uh, with scrapper. Um, only exception for Fortuna in my opinion is cultist, yes you can play cultist Fortuna. Um, my, I don't have much expertise on that. I don't. I'm not really a cultist player, but I saw people play it. It is viable, uh, especially Aleppo played it uh, quite a lot uh, on his streams. It is viable, but of course, if you have Fortuna, there are much better units to play uh, with with her. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but of course, uh, it is a list of viable options for Fortuna. I didn't put every single unit for Fortuna, of course, but uh, yeah, because it would take the, the entire list, basically, so I just don't see a point of me putting every single list. I just put what is uh, like the best for Fortuna, in my opinion. Alright, so let's jump into the Zeus. Uh, Zeus, I think, is right now the best option for Trent, Bard and Riding Hood. Those three uh, are getting a lot from Zeus, like they are really benefit benefiting from Zeus. Uh, Trent is played with normal Trapper Summoner now after Witch Nerves. Uh, you can play with Witch, of course, but then you risk not having good tiles of Zeus, of course. Uh, with Bart, like no, no, no really comment, like it's the best hero for Bart in my opinion. Um, then for Riding Hood, again, uh, just best hero. If you don't have good tiles, you can always place your knight statue uh, not on Zeus style and then um, get her merge rank with Dryads or even some of some people play it with uh, Scrapper. Sure, you can play it uh, like that. Those three are, I think, in my opinion, benefiting the most out of Zeus. You can get the most out of the hero. Um, but of course, you can play uh, Bruiser, Spirit Master, Tesla, Demon Hunter as well. Uh, with Zeus, just like with Inquisitor, Inquisitor is benefiting quite a lot from Zeus. If you play it with Light Inquisitor and you play, I think, four or seven Light Inquisitors, uh, four would be best, seven would be a bit of risk if you can maintain uh, high merge ranks with Scrapper, of course, of those two or three uh, without Zeus style. Uh, Demon Hunter, not really a surprise, Demon Hunter has been played with Zeus for the longest time now, since the release of its talents, uh, and even, even before, uh, so yeah, that's that. For Tesla, uh, recently I saw that uh, Afriend and some other streamers, uh, I think Stevie also, Stevie Weeks played it uh, with Zeus, reaching very high numbers, like 7 minutes, I think Afriend, Afriend's... Uh, um, death wave record is right now with Tesla, with prof Professor, not an expert with Tesla of course, uh, but I just saw that he is playing it. Um, Spirit Master, Spirit Master is played with Zeus, was played with Mari, was played with Jay of course. I think right now it is the best option for Spirit Master. Of course there is a Necro version uh, played with Toxic. Uh, like a toxic version of Spirit Master of some sort, uh, but we'll uh, get to that later on. Uh, Bruiser, Bruiser of course is played. Uh, Bruiser doesn't have like a the, the hero to go to, in my opinion. It is played uh, right now with a lot of the heroes. Um, you can because it usually is played with Scrapper. Uh, you don't really play it without Scrapper, in my opinion. If you play it without Scrapper, then you basically risk uh, stacking your board and not having your bruisers activated or not having them empowered. The empowered rage is really important in my opinion for bruiser. Uh, so I, I I don't know. Like you have to play with scrapper even when you play Zeus. In my opinion, it is uh, really good. Uh, next, uh, sword TPS. Quite obvious, merge ranks, uh, monk, same uh, for attack speed for the wave, and then for example, uh, ability for bosses or uh, you can switch it, of course. Um, Genie, Genie, it is not the best version of uh, Genie, either Sultan or you, Ifrit, 
I think the best version of Genie is with Fortuna. Uh, but if you don't have Fortuna, you can sure play it with Zeus. It, 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 still, it is still good. It's not the best. You will not reach the highest of highs. Uh, but it is viable, of course. Um, Banshee. Banshee, I saw Lexis, the, the, the German streamer, also played it. Uh, reached like 6 minutes 40 seconds. Just one, one comment. I wouldn't play it unless you have uh, like two or even three golden encounter spells because if uh if you play against toxic uh toxic witch specifically speaking uh, then you are um, yeah you know <laughs> and of course even if you don't play against toxic if you play against dark priestess you, it can just mess up your the entire board and that you just build for the past 15 minutes um so yeah, that's a very, it has very high highs, but it has very low lows in my opinion. Very risky gameplay, uh, wouldn't recommend it. And yeah, I put Corsair in that e e for Zeus. I saw some people play it, in my opinion, it's just troll. Um, that rework didn't really go well. I think that rework was really forced uh, for people to not play it with uh, Banshee Corsair, like an old very old, uh, really OP deck that was played uh, some time ago. Uh, I just don't see it. Like this rework, I think it's a preparation for talents, like in next year or something. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just, I just put it here just, just because, you know. All right, let's jump into the Necro. Uh, necro, 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 a toxic legend, legendary hero. In my opinion, uh, it can be played only as a toxic hero, it doesn't really uh, like the units doesn't really benefit from him for from him uh, like a damage wise. More it it gives you damage from stacks, of course. I I can disagree with that, um, but it is mostly due to the fact that he is spawning those phantoms, due to the fact that he is healing enemies monsters on the path, and um, you are basically blocking uh, enemies uh, tiles like nine tiles only six tiles inside are uh, free to attack and uh, you are blocking enemies ability so those hero those units benefit the most out of necro uh, i think uh, yeah right so let's just divide it for toxic uh, to full toxic and toxic dps so minotaur uh, boreas sea dog and robot are played full toxic uh, you're just basically suffocating uh, your enemy, uh, like entire board basically, with Witches, Frost, Summoner, Necro, um, yeah, those main units, and of course, uh, yeah, overall toxic gameplay. Uh, or you play DPS Toxic, which is Necro, as a toxic, and DPS units uh, that benefits the most out of Necro, uh, which are Trent, uh, Speedmaster, aka Panda, and uh, Bruiser. Uh, how does it work? You basically base uh, those main units uh, plus crystal monsters if they are played with them uh, on necro tiles and because they are so high attack speed units and uh, they are generating a lot of the necro stacks from insta kills. They are generating a lot of heals because the, the more the faster you attack the more heal healing will be applied to enemies monsters on the path and of course uh, uh, armor shred uh, same thing basically from attack speed so that's why most of the people play it with uh, with spear because of the attack speed uh yeah i just don't think any other hero can be played with necro maybe in some weird variation maybe in some weird meta shift sure it can be played but those are the units that benefit neck uh, out the most out of necro all right mermaid um Sadly, yes, Mermaid is getting nerfed in the next patch, most likely. Uh, um, unless you have it maxed, it is unchanged then. Uh, but now, right now, I think Banshee uh, is benefiting the most out of, uh, of Mermaid just because of the uh, protection from negative effects from the on the bubbles. Um, I think it is, it is the best variation of Banshee right now. I see people quite often reaching 6 minutes 30 seconds. I think right now it is the limit that Banshee can, can go. 
Um, but it is really good if you have Banshee uh, level 15 uh, and you have Mermaid like level 15. Sure, you can play it. You will reach really high uh, minutes into the depth wave. Next, we have a a bit worse variation of, of Bruiser, uh, in my opinion. Uh, if you play it with Mermaid, you should play the level 11 left side talent, the the one that the, that throws the, the fucking cap on the on the path and gives you mana and armor penetration. Uh, I think it is much better than Mari Bruiser, uh, but it is not the best variation of Bruiser, of course. Um, Next, we have Trent. Uh, I see so people play Trent and the level 11 right side talent. I can't really say if it's good, if it's that good. I think Trent works the best with legendary heroes, of course. No surprise, no shocker. Um, but it is also, in my opinion, not the best variation uh, of Trent with epic heroes. Um, but I will speak about it a bit later on. And next, we have um, Sword DPS. I think I don't think it is the best variation as well, uh, but sure you can play it if you want to be extra safe uh, because you play a uh, cleanse talent on sword DPS anyway. But if you want to have be extra extra safe, you can play it with mermaid. No further questions. Uh, Genie, Genie, it is played with uh, with mermaids. Specifically speaking, I think Sultan is mostly played with mermaid. In my opinion, it is really good just because Genie uh, didn't got nerfed because of the Witch, because it doesn't play Witch. Uh, so I think uh, it's raised in the tier list for now. At, uh, at least un uh, un until uh, patch 27.0. Uh, yeah, next. Demon Hunter, classic Demon Hunter Mermaid. Uh, I don't think I have to talk about it uh, that much. It is just classic, like it was played before, it is played now uh, on lower uh, lower trophies, lower crit accounts. Uh, really good deck, very solid, not the best, uh, but yeah, you can just play it. Uh, next, Bart, Bart with Mermaid, uh, it's a cheap version of Zeus Bart, of course. Uh, you have to play it with, uh, I think, Knight Statue and Scrapper, of course. Um, sure, it is playable, uh, then you can play level 11 right side talent for the extra inspiration stacks while the mini bosses and bosses are on your path. Um, yeah, but it is not that strong, you know, like it is not that strong as a Banshee Mermaid or even Trent or Bruiser Mermaid, in my opinion. Next, I saw some people play Blade Dancer Mermaid, in my opinion, doesn't have sense. Sure, it, it, it gives you extra protection. Uh, but in my opinion, it's just not good. Uh, but sure, you can play it if you want. Uh, Tesla of Mermaid. Tesla of Mermaid, in my opinion, is quite good. Tesla doesn't have incredibly OP clans. Uh, so Mermaid, it really benefits out of Mermaid. Um, so it is quite good. Uh, yeah, sure. If you have level 15 Mermaid and don't have uh, other level 15 uh, epic heroes, nor you have... Uh, legendary heroes, I would play with Mermaid for extra protection for Tesla. Tesla has enough damage, in my opinion, on its own. And next, we have Seadog. Seadog with Mermaid, but as a DPS unit, not Toxic unit. Yes, it is playable as a DPS unit. Seadog has really high base, base damage. Uh, also, uh, from his DPS side of the talents, it really can be a DPS side. It's just the fact that uh, people prefer to play it with Toxic. Uh, I think Maklai, Maklai from Immortals is the most known player for playing uh, DPS side of the of the, of Sidok. Uh, before the death wave, he was reaching high numbers like 200, 300 billion with uh, playing Sidok um, DPS side. All right, next uh, Mari, Mari of Spirit Master is a oldest version of Spirit Master. It was always played with Mari. Uh, but after continuous nerfs to Mari, continuous uh, nerfs to Spirit Master, it's not that great anymore. Uh, but still, I think Mari, if you want to play Mari, of course, uh, yeah, it, it's like uh, not many he not many units right now benefits uh, from Mari. Uh, that's sad. Maybe some a little bit of buff or maybe rework for Mari would be helpful. 
Uh, but yeah, Spirit Master, Bruiser, the same thing. Meteor, sort of dead. Uh, I saw people play it until like 3 minutes, 30 seconds until the, uh, on, in the death wave. It's just not that great. Of course, you can play Toxic Robot with Mari as well for extra mana, for extra monsters on enemy's path. But it is just not that great, in my opinion. It's just not it, you know? That's... I don't have further comments on that hero as well. So, uh, Snowflake. Snowflake, uh, Genie Snowflake, uh, it's a cheap version of uh, Genie, but it is uh, viable. You can play it, you can... Uh, it is, I think, the most counter deck, the Toxic, just because it has Snowflake. Snowflake really counters uh, really fast uh, merge decks such as Toxic, because Toxic decks re uh, requires you to uh, merge fast your units. Uh, so it is really countering Toxic decks, it is uh, really good uh, in terms of damage, you can stack your bosses in uh, from uh, wave 6 to wave 9 uh, with Snowflake. Overall, really solid deck in my opinion, not the best, not the worst, just very solid. Uh, same goes for Riding Hood. Riding Hood, uh, definitely not as good as Zeus Riding Hood, but it is playable. But then you can, you you have to really, um, really play with your Dryads or play it with Scrapper. It's really tough to play it with Snowflake. Of course, it is viable if you can play it. Sure, it will be good, but if you are new to it, oh my God, it's going to be. You are going to have a hard time, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Cultist, Cultist, I think, benefits the most out of Snowflake. Uh, it's really, really good, in my opinion, with Snowflake. Uh, in terms of s uh, scale of Cultist, of course. Um, it's not nowhere near being top deck, uh, but just Snowflake, I think, it's the best hero for Cultist. No further comments. If you, if you want to play Cultist, you should have a, a high-level Snowflake, preferably level 20. Uh, next, uh, Minotaur. Minotaur is a toxic deck with Snowflake if you don't have Necro. Uh, sure, you can play it with, uh, with Snowflake for extra, uh, like, you are you are already playing stun uh, for with, uh, with Minotaur, then you have extra stuns with Snowflake. You can really mess up your enemy, uh, enemy's board. So, next, uh, Toxic Robot, same goes for, uh, for Mari Robot. Just good, <laughs> not that great. There are better toxic decks, uh, so yeah, I just put it in there just because it was played in the past. You can play it; it's not the best. Let's let's move on. Corsair, Corsair. That's my imagination. Uh, same goes for Corsair Zeus. I think you can play it uh, just because Snowflake just slows down your monsters and um, and you can also freeze just to stack more bombs on your path. I won't tell you if it's good, if it's bad, but yeah, it's just my imagination. So yeah, let's just move on. Gadget, Gadget. Uh, I think people play it with Trent as a cheaper version of Zeus Trent. Uh, it has really high damage and no protection against uh, negative effects uh, unless you play Clan's Talent on Trent. Uh, you can play Genie Sultan with Trent as a cheaper version of Fortuna uh, Sultan. Also very high damage, uh, but you have to very control your mana in my opinion in late game, just because it, you don't have that mana from Fortuna, uh, so you have to really control that. Uh, Bart with Gadget in my opinion, very... I think the worst version of Bart. I would prefer to play it with Mermaid. If you if you don't have Zeus, uh, but sure, if you don't have Mermaid level high level, then I will play it with Gadget if I don't have anything else. And uh, Sword DPS, same goes as for Bart. Uh, I would prefer to play it with other hero, um, but I will speak about it a bit later. Uh, just good, not the best. Uh, same goes for Inquisitor and Blade Dancer. I don't think I have to comment on that. Uh, it's just the same thing for Bard and Sword DPS, Inquisitor, Belay Dancer, it's just the same thing. Right, J, J with Monk, oh my god, J with Monk, it is played a lot by 3000, 4000, 2000 crit players. They love this deck, uh, it's very good, don't get me wrong, it is very good, I think it is the best deck for 
like mid range crit, like 2000, 4000, 4500 crit players. It is the most lovable deck, or most loved decks, uh, deck uh, for those players. They play it a lot, uh, they don't surrender the games. Uh, I hate it, <laughs> even though I know that I'm gonna beat them, but yeah, sure. Um, next, Spirit Master. I think Spirit Master is quite good with Jay. Right now, uh, it can reach 4 minutes with a Jay a Spirit Master for Rare Hero reaching 4 minutes. It is really good, in my opinion. Same, same for, for Monk Jay. Like, reaching those minutes in Death Wave, it's really good for Rare Hero. Uh, sadly, we have some information and that Jay will be getting a nerf in the next patch, which is 27.0, but we will see about that. Uh, Bruiser for Jay. Bruiser... Uh, it's the cheaper version of Zeus Bruiser, in my opinion. Uh, you just place your Bruiser on Jail and Amulet Tiles and basically play it with Cleanse uh, because you are forced to, because you don't have any, any other protection from negative effects. Uh, same goes uh, for, for Cultist. Uh, if you don't have a big hero, sure you can play it with Jay. Uh, it's not that good, uh, but you can play it. Uh, Inquisitor. Um, you can play it. Especially the Dark Inquisitor. If you are rolling double tiles, which is J tile and Amulet tile. Uh, it's cheaper, much cheaper version than Zeus. Zeus Inquisitor. But it is viable. Uh, same goes for Sword DPS, uh, very high attack speed Sword DPS has, uh, so it procs more J's, J ability. Uh, for Riding Hood, I just put it because I think it is viable uh, as well. You just have to pray that you are going to get those tier 6, tier 7 Riding Hoods. Basically, it's the same thing as for Snowflake. Uh, next, Trickster. Trickster, Trickster, I saw some people play it this, specifically this week with uh, um, Faction Bonus week. Uh, people played it with Trickster for extra mana. Uh, it works, and not that great, but it works. Uh, so yeah, I thought that uh, Genie can be played with Trickster as well, and maybe some variation of Toxic Robot can be played with Trickster just to suffocate enemies' mana even more. And last... And least we have Captain. Captain, I have no idea, man. I saw people play Captain with weird decks. Uh, I know for a fact uh, we have even uh, one guy in our clan in Blood Zephyr that plays uh, Cultist with Captain. He is doing really well with it, so it's like an honorable mention that I'm gonna put Cultist in Captain uh, list. So. I know that you can play everything with Captain if you don't have any other hero, uh, but if you are speaking about some some sort of level of competitiveness, then uh, yeah, it's, I, I wouldn't play Captain at all. <laughs> I've, I was thinking about not putting Captain on that list, but I did, so uh, yeah, alright, so that's my basically list of what units I would play with each hero. Uh, hopefully it will open your eyes on some heroes, some units. Um, maybe you would you needed some I don't know more like motivation, maybe some ideas, maybe some creativity. Uh, so hopefully you guys like the video, like the idea. Uh, hopefully I will make much more uh, videos like this, some guides, some tutorials, some uh, some helpful content basically for you guys. And yeah, if you guys liked it like subscribe and comment down below what did you think maybe you have some other ideas for the heroes and of course see you guys in the next video hey there thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton you can also leave a comment if you like as i read and respond to every comment thanks for watching